Then, teen years can be a minefield of issues for parents. How do you know if your kids have fallen prey to sex, drugs, or peer pressure? Do you spy on them? Gail joins us with some important looks at privacy. Keith, a recent report shows more than half of high school youngsters have had sex and used alcohol, and 42% say they've used drugs in the last year. More and more parents want to know what they're up against, and they're becoming Inspector Mom. 12 year old Hillary Mitchell spends much of her free time caring for her horses. The barn behind her Bradenton home is her refuge, her private place. It gives me kind of some freedom. I can kind of do whatever I want with them. Outside the barn, her privacy is limited. Her mom and stepdad say mm -hmm. they do it out of love. And we always tell her we have one chance with you. And we're going to raise you as well as we can. And just, just respect our wishes. Many parents struggle with privacy issues as their children become adolescents. Should you look in their diary or their drawers or listen to their conversation? Psychiatrist Michael Fox believes most kids need some privacy. My general rule of thumb is, is that if your child is acting responsibly, according to your standards, then let them have the responsibility to show you that they're responsible. But spying can be an act of love if something's wrong. This Pinellas County mom suspected um, her son was I doing drugs. Did not, and I did choose to look through his room and look through his car and it was substantiated by what I found and I confronted him immediately with it. And I'm glad I did and I would do it again. Her son's now being treated at Operation PAR. Some parents keep tabs on their children in high-tech ways, like this hidden camera and this clock radio. You can put these things almost anywhere. So-called spy shops offer all kinds of cameras, phone monitors, even a satellite tracking system to see where your teen's been driving. Some parents just want to keep an eye on their kids. Oh, absolutely. I would think that uh, probably 15% of our business is uh, going towards that area of monitoring teenagers uh, in the household. No matter how you plan to watch your children, let them know what you expect. I support whatever it is that the parents want as their values. All I ask them to do is to be consistent, forewarn your kids, set the expectations early, and define the consequences. Hillary's parents hope their strictness now will mean they won't have to spy later. We have done probably as much as we can except be there now for her. Now we're seeing how well we did. Aid is on your side tonight with some tips on creating a better relationship with your children. First of all, you might want to volunteer at their school. Also, don't give them unrestricted freedom. Set some limits and finally let them know exactly what you expect. Be firm in your beliefs. And if you suspect your child is involved in substance abuse, contact Operation PAR at 1-888-PAR-NEXT. We'll have this number again for you a bit later in the newscast.